We're checking out America and France at Epcot's Flower and Garden Festival, and we're back to ride Expedition Everest. <laughs> Let's eat. And ride. We've been, Lots to do. We've been here three times in I think, I think a week, but there's so many things we want to try and we keep getting full and that's what's great about us living close to here now is we can just come back and be like, hey, we're free this day, let's eat this. So particularly we came today for two uh, pavilion booths. What are they, Sam? America and France. Yes, so France helped America during the Revolutionary War. America helping France during World War II. I think it made sense to like bunch them together, right? Right? Sure. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we also maybe try something from the Honey Bistro, right? Yeah, I heard the flatbread's really good. And today is the first day that it was announced, they actually opened it yesterday, that Expedition Everest, Ex Expedition Everest has reopened at Animal Kingdom. During our last trip, we weren't able to ride it, right, Sam? It's my favorite. Yeah, me too. It's my favorite ride in that park. I love Flight of Passage, but uh, the uh, complexity of that roller coaster when it was first opened, so cool. So we can't re uh, ride that again. I don't think there was any big changes about it, but yeah, but it, it's still a really cool ride. Uh, definitely, one, and we couldn't check it out on our last uh, actual vacation, probably our last vacation in Florida. So I'm really hungry though. You ready for lunch? If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe, join us for our Epcot Hop into Animal Kingdom day here at Disney World. All right, so we started with Honey Bistro. This is actually where you can get the Spike the Bee sipper. Uh, they also have like a cheesecake that looks really good and a spoon bread oh that God, has some bacon on it. The so hot on the table. Yeah, it's a hot I day today. It's in the 90s. All right, lavender, honey mustard, flatbread. Sounds very good. Whips, uh, honey ricotta, I think. Goat cheese, chicken, vegetables. It sounds really good. This is like, I think, the mm. one savory thing they had because everything was a honey spoon bread and, and the cheesecake. Oh, wow. They also have like a, uh, a honey based wine. And the chicken is juicy. Nothing like I've ha ever had before. Very interesting. Seven. S interesting. Goat yeah, cheese, yeah, honey. Vegetables. Yeah, honey, yeah, honey mustard lavender, on a flatbread. That sounds honey mustard. Yeah. The honey mustard's good. All right, so France is usually one of our favorite spots. Uh, you have Lumiere and Cogsworth greeting you as you walk in, and of course, always boast one of the longest lines, and also the high, some of the highest prices. Yeah, it's worth it though. Even though my flesh is melting, obviously, it's hot. It, this is one of my favorite drinks. So, so it's the, uh, what is it? The La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose. So it's a slush cocktail. It melted very fast. We try to get pictures of it. It's, it's like 90 degrees out today, so it's gonna happen. Nine. Yeah, very good. All right, so I got the beer from the France Pavilion as well as a tuna sandwich and the beignet. So I'm, I'm looking very much forward to these. I've never tried the beer here before. It was, I think, $6 for six ounces, a dollar an ounce. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah. I hope not. I could be wrong. Nice beer. It tastes like beer. Is it flavored? It doesn't really taste flavored. It just tastes like normal beer to me. It tastes like special. Like, I expect it like, to be special. Doesn't taste French. Like a four. Oh wow. I'm not a beer person. Yeah, I give it a four. Sound like that. It's okay. All right, tuna sandwich time. My favorite tuna sandwich of all time, Sam. Where, where, where did I have it? Do you know? France. Yes, in the actual France, not the Epcot France. In the French Riviera, we had a trip there. Uh, so Apparently they do get... tuna good. I don't know. Uh, I saw this tuna sandwich here. It's not like a mayo-based tuna. There's eggs in it. I've heard olives. good things about this, though. The olive, the egg. The tuna isn't fishy either, which you always run the risk of that. This is good. Oh, the seven. Ooh. It's a good tuna. It doesn't beat French Riviera tuna. They're very good. All right, so you can see this beignet is packed with some type of goo. Goo. A really great food reviewers. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's a lot in there. That thing is packed out. It's like a Boston cream, but with like a layer caramel. of like caramel. I think it's caramel. Wow, it's so good. This is an eight for me. I really like the beignet. All right, so the America booths for these festivals, Sam, they've never let me down. And I feel like you're they, dressed for America. I'm, I'm dressed for America. But yeah, I uh, like when a visitor's shirt. 
Uh, so I feel like the booth food for America is usually very good uh, because it's not the more exotic of the booths, you know, like if you're in America. So you, they, I think they go all out a little bit more. These oysters are gigantic, right? Look at that. Actually, I think, like, I mean, they were pretty expensive, but maybe a little hot sauce. I'm gonna try one without the I hot like sauce. the little mini hot sauce bottle. The hot sauce would make it, it's warm, it's hot. And what, you can watch them crack it in front of you. Unique. I think it's like an eight of an oyster, to be honest. It's, it's really like a solid, not cooked, not like an oyster's Rockefeller oyster. Very good, I, very good. Surprised me, that's for sure. Spicy chicken gumbo. Looks like they were going for like the soul food kind of theme for this festival. You see a jalapeno right there? It's spicy. That's good. It's Uncle Ben's wild rice. <laughs> It's solid wild rice. Uncle Ben does a good wild rice. I would give it a seven. It's a good seven. And then finally, Sam, the pecan praline. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get a nice picture of this, a B-roll shot, because it broke in the bag. But the bag is like a nice sticker, cementing it's from Magnolia Terrace. It's kind of like a cookie. That's very sweet. Look at this. It's solid. It's pre-packaged. It's good. It's a six. It's a little above that. It's all right. Six. We ended up back at the Honey Bistro because Sam's cousin, well, my cousin too, because I'm married to Sam. Megan. Cousin now. Yes. You said that this drink is the best drink in all of Flower and Garden. Changed my life. So what's the name of it? It is the Honey Peach Freeze with Blueberry Vodka. You now mix it. I'm hearing you have, have to, mix to mix it. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sam, you already tried it. Like I'm going to try some of mine now. It's so good. Is strong. It's refreshing. It is very sweet and it is very refreshing. It's so good. Megan, what would you give it? Since you're the, the number rater. Oh, I will definitely give this a 10. A 10? <laughs> I know that's a, I know that's, I know, okay, all right. If I have to be really like, I would definitely give it at least a nine. Okay. Nine, nine and a half. Okay. What would you say? I'm then? going eight only because I want it to be bigger. This is oh very yes, small. <laughs> yes, it needs to be bigger. I'll it's go with eight too. Yeah, no, it's definitely a, a very good different drink. So, but honestly, I Cheers. wouldn't have gotten oh, this yes. if you didn't Cheers. recommend it. Yeah, like, it we wouldn't have come back. We're, we usually <laughs> mostly eat. We don't drink as many of the drinks. So, when you read honey peach, you don't think this taste. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, mm. like honey has a very distinct taste. I feel like this isn't like that. It's good. Yeah, no, it's it's it definitely has a unique flavor profile, especially with like the little spikiness from the vodka uh -huh. and the sweet from the honey and it's uh, that creamy flavor yeah very good. So good i wouldn't drink 10 of them though it'd probably give you your stomach ache but probably. <laughs> all right so thoughts as we're leaving epcot uh we're actually about to go give frank dinner and then we're gonna go ride expedition <laughs> everest but i wanted to go over some of my thoughts in the booths america really brought the spice and which i didn't expect uh very spicy dishes but i guess it makes sense gumbo is that an american dish not to me but i mean i feel like it is i think it's from like a new orleans type of cuisine. If, if you think so, let us know in the comments. But America definitely brought the spice. France, contender for one of my favorite booths, actually. That beignet was amazing. Beignet was very good. It was good. like a creme brulee top. It had that like hard coating. Yeah. And there was so much cream. Cream, a lot of cream, yeah. Really, that was a top item. Uh, the slush was very good. The tuna sandwich from there was very good. Uh, yeah, France, I think uh, Sunshine's uh, Griddle and Farmer's Feast. Uh, and Morocco, I think, or those are my top contenders right now. Four top contenders. A lot of booths here. Uh, America, very spicy. The oysters are very good, but probably not my favorite booth. Just maybe food I just wouldn't jump for, but still, I think, quite delicious. So we're going to head in the car. Frank yeah. break. Frank break. And then we're going to wait for Expedition Everest. It's like an hour and a half wait right now, which understandably, it's its first opening day. So we're willing to wait for it, though. Just got to take care of our dog first. Hey, Frank. We're home with Frank. He just had dinner. He just no got more. out. Only one dinner, Frank. Yes, one dinner dog. Do you want to go out on the patio? We have a little grass out there on the patio for Frank. All right, Frank, you go on the patio, buddy. All right, Sam, we made it to Animal Kingdom. And our first time here as Florida residents, we're going to have our favorite quick service outside of Milton's at Hershey Park. Got to give a nod to Milton's ice cream parlor at Hershey Park. But 
Tuli Canteen, I think, is the best quick service in all of Disney. Do you agree? So we're gonna have those cheeseburger pots. I'm gonna try the shrimp with the uh, noodles for the first time. I, I'm a, I like the hash too, but those noodles are just so good. I, I, Disney just knows how to do noodles. Uh, I'm gonna say it, it's, it's gonna be good. And then right as the park closes, we're gonna hop on for an expedition. Oh, so, I'm excited. Right, Expedition Everest. So the mountain is looming in the background as you walk through. It's one of the best themed queues I've ever seen ride. Really great original attraction. No IP integration. Um, I'm excited. No big changes, obviously, but couldn't ride this last trip when we were here in February. And this is the first roller coaster we'll be riding, we'll be riding since our meeting um, Are you excited? Me too. Tired. Yeah, I'm tired. It's been a very long day, a very hot long day. We got the Yeti Sunday at uh, the truck that they have right out. Is it? I don't even know the name of the truck, but it's that truck that they have sitting right near Expedition Everest. Uh, what's in this? It's like a mix of chocolate and vanilla soft serve. I think there's like blue cake crumbles, mm -hmm. and then there's like a chocolate Yeti image. It's, it's standard soft serve ice cream, which I enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, but not like I feel like special. we never get a, just you know yeah. soft serve. The vibe is normal. Mm. And they'll give it a six for the theme. What do you think? Uh, what do you think of your ride, Sam? Nothing's really changed, right? Yeah, I mean, what they do? Take away the hair ties? That was like the only to thing. To me, the gift shops look a little bit different, but I could be wrong. The hair ties were gone. I didn't see the eagle at all. Now, I'm not sure if that's a problem just for our ride or if it's just, that's just normal now. It was cool to ride it again. I'm happy it's opening, and this park definitely needs that ride. Not enough like e tickets in Animal Kingdom, but. Yeah, commemorating with a Yeti Sunday. All right, so a very long day for Sam and I. Probably our longest Disney day since we moved. Hottest day too. Yes, it was like 95 degrees at some point. So very hot, definitely had the sunscreen on. <laughs> uh, Expedition Everest, I don't think it was super smooth. I don't think it's it ever a smooth, smooth ride, but it was a really great ride. Really a great time to ride again. And again, we rode it two times. <laughs> 
Uh, we had a night ride and during the daytime, you guys saw the daytime ride. Uh, yeah, I didn't see the eagle twice. I'm not sure if they just got rid of that effect. Usually right before you go backwards on it, there's like an eagle you kind of see soar over. So I'm not sure if they just got rid of that. Uh, the hair, all the hair ties are gone. Uh, anything else? The, the, the shop looks a little bit different to me. The gift shop, yeah. Other than that, uh, I think the food at uh, Flower and Garden, it was one of the better days. Uh, the Honey Bistro I almost forgot to bring Ooh, up before. Yes, and that, that drink, drink was very good. Yeah. yeah. I get why Megan was like, you have to get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very sweet. Very good, though. Uh, very strong. I definitely felt it. That was the only drink I had today. Uh, and also the France stuff, that beignet. Ooh, that beignet was so good. Very, eh. Beignet, very good. Uh, the sandwich, the tuna sandwich, uh, the uh, rosé that you had, the frosé, so good. Uh, America stuff was solid too, those oysters. Just an overall awesome day. Uh, really cool that we were able to ride Expedition Everest on its opening day. Uh, again, two times. Two times. And I also think you saw the Yeti maybe a little bit better. Uh, I think feel like it was lit up more. But that could just me per be perceiving it that way because I'm just so excited to ride this ride. I haven't ridden in over a year. So, you have fun? Me too. I'm ready for Me too. <laughs> if you, yeah. I'll shout out. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow and push this video out there into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. I almost forgot. Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. We, we, are, we have a couple in the tank. We're building up vlogs right now, so we're going to have a few release, and this could be an extra one. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Make the days count. See you next time. That's all, folks. Lit up, looming in the background, and actually able to ride again. Although, no kite tails at night. Uh, Animal Kingdom is currently lacking nighttime shows, or a nighttime yeah. show. Yeah. But so cool that you could actually ride this icon again. And one of the, uh, I think, one of the best non IP roller coasters would be the best non IP roller coaster. Uh, this and like maybe Space Mountain. So good. Good night. Thank you.